Good day. In this video, we're going to show you how to work forwards and backwards on flow diagrams and how it works. In this flow diagram, our rule is to times by 6. So we start with a number, we times it by 6, and we get the result. So we take 5 times 6 is 30. Then we take 10 times 6 gives us 60. Then we take 11 times 6 and we get 66. But since grade 1, we've taught you that you sometimes need to go back on a rule in mathematics. So here you have to know that what did I times by 6 to get 30? So I'm going to go mathematically backwards now. I'm going to go 30, do the opposite of what I see here. So I'm going to divide by 6 to get my answer, which is 5. Then I'm going to say, what did I times by 6 to get 60? So I'm going to go backwards, 60, do the opposite of what I see here, divide by 6. And that gives me 10. Then I want to know 66. What did I times by 6 to get to 66? So I'm going to go backwards. 66, do the opposite, divide by 6, equals 11. You can think in maths any way you want, but you need to understand what I'm trying to teach you. You need to go backwards and do the opposite of what you see here if you want to go from this side to that side. But you may use other methods. Please remember, before we do the next flow diagram that if there's any mathematical problem that you have on school level you can send your problem to this number we will try and find you a solution and send it back to you for free in this flow diagram the rule is I must divide by 5 so I must start with 25 divided by 5 and get my answer is 5 then I take 55 the rule is I've divided by 5 and I get my answer 11 then I take 10 divided by 5, and my answer is 2. Then I might get bigger numbers, 160 divided by 5. Then it might be necessary to do an extra little short division sum over here to get to my answer, but that's not the purpose of this video. The last one is 645 divided by 5 is 129. But again, I will use this small short division question to help me but that's not the purpose the purpose is i must take this number divided by five and get this answer like we said at the beginning of the video it is sometimes necessary to find out what your original numbers were and then you must go backwards on your rule so in this case you say what did i divide by five to get five then mathematically you think five i do the opposite times five gives me 25 then i say 11 do the opposite, I times 5, gives me 55, because 55 divided by 5 gave me 11. Now I say 2, do the opposite, times 5, gives me 10. Then if I have more complicated numbers like these, I might have to do an extra little calculation. But the rule is still 32, do the opposite, times 5, equals 160. And I might, like I said, have to do an extra calculation here. The same way, we'll take the 129, do the opposite of divide, which is times 5, and get 645 as my original number. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked this video, and subscribe to the channel. If there is any school mathematical problem that you have, please WhatsApp this problem to this number. Then we will try and find a solution and send it to you for free. Enjoy mathematics.